Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Puffington Post. This is our Mother's Day marijuana special, and today we're basically going to be focusing on um, how moms can use marijuana, or CBD rather, and in what positive ways um, it helps in parenting. Uh, also today, we are smoking gas OG. So the reason why I chose the OG is because I felt like the theme should be OGs for the OGs. My mama, you know, our moms are our OGs, our original gangsters. They're the ladies who teach us everything we know in life, so they are our original, you know, our original ladies. And we say gangster not to mean like a real thug, but it's just like, you know, parenting can be kind of gangster at times, and being a mom can definitely be gangster. So shout out to all the OGs. This right here, if you can see it closely, is Gas OG. I just wanted to give you guys a very good look. Um, it breaks down kind of sticky. It has a very sour, it, 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 it gives me like sour diesel mixed with OG type uh, lineage, but I can't be perfectly sure. However, uh, we will break it down. And today we're going to be um, mixing this with a little CBD. So CBD is the uh, ingredient in marijuana that gives you all the health benefits like it helps with muscle tension, relaxation, nausea, anxiety, um, all type of neuro uh, neuro diseases such as um, epilepsy, and you know if you have any type of muscle spasms, things like that. That wasn't a neuro disease, but I'm just saying along with that. So today I'm gonna mix some CBD along with my THC, which is something that I normally don't do. I mean, there is a little THC in this weed, and there's a little CBD in this weed. So if I don't want to get too too high while I'm telling you guys about all this. I'm going to go ahead and mix it with CBD because when you mix CBD with um, THC, then it kind of balances out. If you don't want to get too crazy high, but you still want all the effects, you can choose um, You can choose how much you want to put with each blunt. So I'm going to do probably about a ratio of three to uh, one today, meaning that I'm going to put three parts THC, one part CBD. So I'm going to roll this up for y'all. And here is a look at the CBD weed if you want to take a look at it. CBD weed, or the reason why I call that, is basically just hemp. And hemp is, you know, the uh, flower with no, with not that much THC in it. So you can create CBD flower from hemp. And this is how it looks. It has a nice earthy smell. And it's going to calm me down. You can smell it and be relaxed and be like, you know what? You know, when you smell regular weed... If you look at the difference, you see this one is a lot lighter in color, and this is a little bit darker. And this one is because, you know, this has heavy, heavy THC. It's definitely going to get me high, have me, you know, feeling all the psychoactive properties, feeling the euphoria. And some people get a little um, paranoid when they smoke weed, you know, because of, it's too much THC. And the THC is the psychoactive, you know, what, what reacts with your psychoactive uh, cells in your brain. So that's why CBD comes in handy, because it's like, you know what, I'm too high. Let me smoke some of this to bring me down. So that's why it's really important to kind of touch on both of these today and the main reason I also want to touch on CBD is because it's very beneficial for moms like we know Mother's Day just passed so I was doing a little bit of research and I found out on the article um, I believe it was marijuana now it was some article I was uh, checking out I'm gonna annotate it here shortly I don't want any plagiarism but basically they were just you know saying how CBD can be used to treat mastitis like if your breasts are sore during uh, during nursing you can rub a little CBD oil and it helps you can also take some CBD tinctures for postpartum depression anxiety so I just thought it was really important to kind of check out all the ways that you could use CBD and to see more facets of THC because people have such a negative connotation of weed and it's not that serious. But enough talking, let me get high. Um, you know, I don't want you guys thinking that I'm a little already high, but um, I was about to make a point and just quickly forgot that fast. What was I going to say? But anyway, yeah, I thought it'd be great for Mother's Day. My mom smokes. I smoke with my mom. So I figured, you know, hey, why not? Sprinkle in a little bit and just to mention to you this this CBD has a nice little sticky quality about it, too So don't think that you're just not getting all your you know your your worth here uh, OG gas is a completely indica strain uh, It's hilarious now mothers if you are going to be smoking some of this I would suggest you do mix a little CBD or just take it lightly because OG gas is a gas and indica meaning that it's straight going to put you in the couch. You know, indica is that sleepy weed, that relaxed weed, that what you what you want to smoke after you put the kids to bed weed. So, you know, you want to make sure we keep that in context. So we're going to smoke this here and I'll let you guys know. And, you know, a lot of you probably smoke uh, papers. 
I personally am a blunt smoker. I think I prefer a little bit of the extra THC that comes with it. So give me a second here. Check this out though. Baby. And you know what's funny is, you know, I've been smoking weed for years, you know, since I was in college and, oh man, there's a hole in my blunt. And I just now got to um, really understand what the effects of CBD is. Are you kidding me, you guys? Really? Y'all, see that CBD? It's good, but it didn't have a little stem in it and messed up my blunt, but you know me. Super repairman. Repair woman. <sighs> Disregard this sneeze. Okay, girl. This is why it's important that you can't have cotton mouth. No, I'm smoking weed. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, you guys, I took the liberty of writing down a few fun facts about weeds. So I do want to share them with you guys. If you hear any music in the background, that is my homie Tim Woods. I'm playing his music right now. Shout out to Houston. And uh, yeah, I do. You know, sorry, I had weed on my mouth, you guys. Give me a second. Wow. So what's interesting, you guys, is that this is one of my, you know, I don't often mix CBD with THC, but this is one of the, the times that I have, and you can instantly, mm, I can already tell there's going to be a blunt that's not going to have me super duper head high, but I still will feel relaxed, and that's what I'm excited about. This is good. Most times when I hit a blunt, it knocked me hard because, I, you know, it's just straight gas, OG gas. But this is a great way. Like, I can taste the OG in here. It's very strong and pungent. You can't miss it. But the THC gives it a nice taste. Wow. This is a good mix, you guys. I'm probably going to start doing CBD and weed more often because sometimes when I smoke, I smoke a lot. But sometimes when I do, I feel very, very, like, lightheaded. So this is awesome. Like, I'm feeling it. Totally feeling it. Sorry, you guys. I had a message and wanted to make sure I checked it really quickly. But this Fire OG, I'm not really sure what its parent strains are because it's made by a couple of different growers. There's a few uh, people out here in California who make this. But definitely packing that heat. Very calming. And I would say, like, if you are... Someone who doesn't really, you know what would be great with this? To even calm it even more if you want like a happy daytime weed and you're out kind of with, you know, you're doing some parenting or momming or whatever if you don't have kids, even though this is the marijuana special. You can definitely, sorry, I'm getting stoned. You can definitely mix this with a sativa and get an even more, you know, up energized feeling along with the relaxation of the CBD because sativas make you feel energized. So this gas OG. Perfect for mothers, okay? Perfect. Because you mix it with your little CBD and it's it's popping. You know, on my next episode, I'll even get into different ways we can use CBD, even incorporating in just everyday things, everyday things that aren't parenting. But the crazy thing is, I can never get halfway through these episodes because I'd be... I'd be high. Now, don't worry. It's because I did the, you know, three to one. I did more THC than CBD, but the CBD is definitely helping me not to go overboard. Hey, Tanisha. Fact. All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this really quickly because I'm high, and I think I've covered everything you need to know about OG gas and a special guest presentation by CBD. It's very important for me to educate people about CBD because... I want to knock off the negative connotations of weed and just really amplify all the positivity that comes from using marijuana for its good things, okay? There are no bad things, okay? There's nothing bad. If you get a little high, CBD will save you. So all the things you need are right there in the weed. This has been another Puppets and Post. I'm Pim P, your host. Today we've been smoking OG gas with a little bit of indica. Learning how these two can work together to help us stay happy. And if you just want to smoke the THC by itself, I recommend that as well. 
Join us next week for another Puppy Composed. Bye, guys.